Hello, I'm Dylan R. Nix, and welcome to Crab Key Video, the one-stop shop for everything nostalgia. And to keep things simple, today we are reviewing the Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers mask. Now, I was going to do the Halloween Kills mask, because the movie just came out, but everybody's reviewing it, and I went to buy it, and it was $75. So I said, ah, I'll wait a bit. And instead, I found this guy for $44, bucks, marked down from $60. So I went ahead and scooped it up, and let's find out if that was a mistake or not. So right away, when I got this thing in the mail, and I opened up the box and it was in a plastic uh, bag, immediately the horror nerd in me just got super excited. I mean, I just, even though it's probably one of the worst Michael looks out there from any of the movies, I still was just so happy to have it. Um, as you can see, I have tons of other masks and collectibles and things like that, so just to be able to add it, even though it's actually one of my least favorite Halloween movies as well, I just had to have it. And for 44 bucks, I mean, I know that's only $15 less than what the full price is, but I snagged it for Halloween, and but I think it looks great. I, I thought it was going to look like shit. Um, the hairs with Trick or Treat Studio Mask is always kind of iffy. This is really long, but it's long in the movie too. Um, they made a lot of weird decisions in Halloween 5, um, with, uh, story-wise, but also with the mask, and I think it's because the actor who played Michael Myers broke his nose, or something like that, so they had to cut out the nose, which warped the mask, something like that. Either way, it looks pretty awful in the movie. That said, it doesn't bother me that much. I'm one of those people that, I love the Halloween movies, but I don't, I didn't need Michael to have his same mask throughout the entire series. I think it's actually kind of weird in part four, which is my favorite, that he finds a mask that is similar to his in the department drugstore. Not gonna shit over here. I thought it was kind of weird. I would have preferred it to, for them to have kept his bandaged face the entire movie. I think that would have made more sense instead of finding a mask that looks similar to his old one and then keeping it and then he gets in the sixth movie he has another one and this is a the fifth one is the fourth one just kind of warped and dragged down either way it's it's passable but once you start getting into halloween five six i love halloween 20 years later halloween resurrection is a joke but halloween five and six is pretty fucking awful but still it warms my heart to have this on a little mannequin head in this room because i'm a horror fan so now that said this thing looks like an exact replica from the Halloween 5 mask. Um, it's got this mesh behind the eyes that I haven't seen in the other ones, but I don't own any other Trick or Treat Studios Halloween masks. Um, so I don't know if they have that in the other ones. I can't remember seeing the mesh on like the original Michael Myers mask or Halloween Kills or the Halloween 2018 one in stores. I've never seen this in the wild, never seen this in stores. Got this at Party City for 44 marked down from 60 like I said where a couple years ago I actually got two Trick or Treat Studios leather face masks marked down to $15 each uh, <laughs> so I got pretty lucky then I got pretty lucky with this I think they had the part 6 mask but it was sold out for $44 too and I would have gotten that one even though that is the absolute trash movie I still would have bought the mask and had it here the sculpt is awesome I really like the paint jobs are always a little iffy but this looks great. It looks like old uh, latex. It looks really good weathered. I don't like the Halloween 2018 Trick or Treat Studios mask. I think they did a pretty... I don't think the paint job is really that great and it fits really weird. Um, but right out of the box, I mean, just look at that. The hair is a little wonky. It always is, but it looks cool as shit. And if you're a fan of that, the fifth movie, which, hey, to each their own, um, I think this is one of the ones that look most like the one in the actual... Uh, movie and it's got a nice little slit in the mouth so you can actually fucking breathe out of it um, I think there's no there's nose holes they're not plugged up the eyes are really good I that mesh I haven't worn it yet I'm, I'm gonna put it on here in a second I don't know how blurry that mesh makes your vision or if it sits too close to my fucking eyes I've kind of got a big head so we'll see okay here we go Oh. 
So it's pretty tight. <laughs> I can't even get this thing. I'm looking through the nose holes right now. I can't even get this thing down past my chin to look through the eye holes. And I, cause I already feel like I'm stretching it. So <laughs> that's what you get, guys. Oh, holy hell, man. Now, if I had paid 60 bucks for it, I don't know if I'd, what am I saying? I'd love to fucking own it. But for $60, it means a lot to me when I can find deals on stuff. That's when it makes collecting things uh, just, just sweeter. And finding this for the deal that I did, I'm happy to have it. And, you know, Trick or Treat Studios, sometimes I think they're a little overpriced uh, for some of their stuff. $60, I think, is a lot for a mask. But when you think about it and it, you display it and just how cool it looks and how good it looks, like the sculpt really is good and it looks pretty movie accurate for the price. I mean, it's either this or you buy one of those fucking cheap Amazon knockoffs that are <laughs> that are just so laughably bad. And fuck that. These people do it the right way. They officially license things and they, for the most part, always get it looking pretty dope. I mean, I thought this was gonna look way shittier than it does. Um, the five mask looks shitty in general, but it's still cool to own. And I mean, just the, some of the imagery from the movie too, I like. I like Michael Myers with the scythe and that looks really fucking awesome. It's just the movie kind of drags and the fact that they changed the Michael Myers house to this big old fucking Victorian mansion, it makes no sense and it's silly and uh, for them to discard the great ending that Halloween 4 had just to have Michael Myers back. That's something the series has always struggled with, of course. Anyways, if you can find this, I mean, I've been trying to find the Halloween 4 Trick or Treat Studios mask, and every time I almost get it, it's uh, sold out or I can't find it at the time. So that's why I went ahead and grabbed this, because who knows how long Trick or Treat Studios will actually have these out there. Um, and I'd love to own all of them. Obviously, as a horror fan, I hope you guys like this. <laughs> Some of the hairs falling out, but that's okay. That's to be expected. The Halloween Five, the Revenge of Michael Myers, Trick or Treat Studios mask. Here it is. This video is just meant for me. Yeah, I had my stupid commentary on it, but basically, uh, I just wanted you to be able to see it. I watch video reviews all the time. And sure, they have some asshole like me just jawing away. But I mainly just wanted you guys to have video of this thing so that you could see it up close and make the decision yourself if you want to pull the trigger on it or not. Like I said, I've kind of got a big head, so I can't wear it. So if that's what you're planning to do with it, uh, good luck. Hopefully you have a smaller head. If you're just looking for to, uh, to display it, Get yourself a mannequin head from Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something like that, and it looks fucking awesome. Uh, Halloween 5, like I said, is definitely not my favorite Michael Myers movie, Michael Myers look, not even close, but there's just, there's a nostalgia about it that I have for sure. So to have this join my collection, my video store, is uh, it's just fucking awesome. And that's why I love Trick or Treat Studios and companies like that that help keep horror alive and the memories that I have of it and they just keep it all at the forefront. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm just starting out with this channel. Please go to my first channel, Archie Co. Productions. I've made some horror features, uh, our show Sharp Candy, and I actually write a book series based on that. And that's where we kind of put all of our creative stuff. This will be for nostalgia videos and reviews and things like that that I hope to get started uh, doing more of. So hopefully more mask reviews to come, and if you have a particular mask that you'd like me to cover, um, put it in the comments, and either I have it or I'll try and scoop it up, and happy Halloween.